Hey YouTube, this is Slackjacket1000 again, and uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. Um, I've been extremely busy with going to work and also school at the same time, uh, taking classes, college classes during the summer. Um, I, um, I'm going to be majoring hopefully in mechanical engineering, so I'm just getting some classes out of the way. But um, Basically, I'm just going to make a short video for y'all. Uh, it's not going to be toward the Paper 1911 on this video right now. I'm going to wait till next time for that because I didn't have much time tonight to make a full video tutorial on the next part, which is the Magwell, um, as you see on there. But Because uh, you know, I'm trying to make good tutorials where it's going to take some time um, to do it. You know, It's not going to be like a short little video for those. But... Um, what I'm going to do right now is just show you something, uh, just a small update on some things that I've made. Uh, this right here, as you see, I made it a couple years ago, uh, maybe five years ago actually. And what it is, it's a, a, a pistol that I tried to model like a P38 at the time, but I never finished it. I did this in like an hour. And, uh, it, you can almost see how it can, kind of resembles it a little bit um, by the shape, but uh, you know I never did finish it. But it does shoot though. That's the thing. And so uh, what it is is basically I got a m medicine bottle and drilled a hole in the center and put a pin tube through the center and uh, put. Uh, on this one, there's nails in it, but in the gun here, in the bottom, let's see if I can open this with one hand. There's actually some wires hanging down instead of nails. Hold on, let me. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. There's some. wires in there and then uh, the wires uh, they, they, of course it makes a spark in between them you see that spark yeah and uh, that spark ignites the uh, butane you put in it or whatever flammable substance I, I like to use a small lighter and uh, I just hold it down enough to where the gas comes out and put it in the back for like a few seconds and then uh, put the lid back on the back and push the trigger which is actually just the uh, piezoelectric igniter in there uh, I never did make a final trigger uh, I mean it's pretty crude design but I, maybe one of these days I'll finish it um, and see I have tr crude trigger guards on there which I hardly ever use because uh, they're not even on there that good and it kind of, I can't hardly fit my finger on the trigger with those in the way, but uh, so I usually just take those off. So I'll just take those off and show you the function. So it'll be easier for me to show. Let me take those off. Yeah, they just they just slide up in there. So basically, what I use for the frame of this is a cardboard uh, can that, uh, if you ever heard of flips pretzels, <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I use the. Uh, hard cardboard for that from that box as the frame. I cut that out into designs for the uh, handle and the other part of the frame. So uh, inside the grip right here, I have a mini M&M's pop top uh, tube inside there, and then I have the piezoelectric igniter from one of those butane lighters. Uh, you can get them from this kind right here, but I got it from the stick kind of butane lighter for barbecue grills. And I just took that out, and that's going through a hole that I cut in the M&M's tube. And it's held into place there, so it's pretty sturdy. I just push that down, it makes a spark. Because the wires are going through the bottom, and I cut two holes for the wires, so it's a spark. 
And then, yeah, there's a pin tube in there in the middle, you see, which comes out there. And so it kind of resembles a P38 in a way. Uh, not completely, of course. But, I don't know, maybe I'll finish it one day. I'm so busy, though. Um, anyway, let's show, go ahead and show you the function. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the butane in it. Oh, and this is a pretty powerful lighter too. I got it in Florida when I was in Florida. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, but I don't smoke. I just got it for uh, for just a lighter. So I just get it and put it in there and hold it down for a few seconds. So the gas comes out. Okay. I get the lid, put it on, and what I use for ammo is, I can use anything, but what I'm using right now is this little dowel. Okay, let's see how it shoots. I just put it in the barrel, so. So, yeah, there it is right there. And I painted it red so I could find it pretty easily but yeah um, it shoots pretty fast I mean faster than an airsoft gun let me just do that one more time show you uh, let's see. see this top just uh, unscrews of course like a regular medicine bottle and then I just Top back on. Oh, got snagged. All right. Oh, and uh, well, I could, I'll show you the flame. See if you can see it. Yeah, you can see all that power coming out there, just for a you know small little bitty area. The general rule is, um, in physics, when you have a large um, surface area, uh, going to a smaller what happens, uh, it's fluid dynamics, if you're wondering. Um, when a fluid, like air or a liquid, goes from a um, big area to a smaller area, it increases in speed, which uh, pushes the projectile out extremely fast, and that's why that comes out really fast. And so, in theory, if you had a big medicine bottle and then this small tube here, you would have even faster velocity and more power. So, um, I was thinking about getting a big medicine bottle and empty one and um, making like a bolt action rifle one of these times. Uh, like a you know, mini spud gun type uh, bolt action or something. Anyway, let me, let me shoot it one more time for you. put a fair amount in there <laughs> make sure it works okay and there it is I couldn't even see it <laughs> but you can see it made a hole in it and popped right back out right there you can kind of see that hole <laughs> um, of course that's plastic so I bet you're wondering Hey, why don't you shoot it at, say, paper? Okay. Well, let me shoot it at paper then. All right, let me refuel it. You might have to, when you're refueling this, you might have to blow out the excess uh, fumes so and get the oxygen mixture in there because it needs oxygen for fire to ignite. So anyway. I did have a, a 
front sights on there and it actually worked but it just slipped on Let's see if I can do this uh, how am I gonna do this all right I'll fold the paper get to stand up but the thing is it might not go through if the if the paper's not tight so <laughs> I'll have to risk that okay let's see Well, it did. It made a hole anyway. So yeah, that thing's pretty nice, pretty powerful. Anyway, um, that is my mini spud gun, I guess you could call it. <laughs> you could put spuds in there. And uh, the next video, um, hope, I know you're waiting on, is the next part to the Paper 1911. And that is the Magwell. I've already mentioned that. And it's not too hard of a part, but it does take some time. And, uh, you know, I've already uh, have pretty cut out the pieces to show you, so it shouldn't be too hard on making the next video. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two parts, probably. The the bottom magwell and then the top magwell, which is harder. Uh, and I'll tell you why in the later video on why it's harder. You probably can guess, but... Um, if you have any suggestions, just make it in the comments below. And um, thanks for watching, and tune in for next time's episode. Thank you very much.